Right then guys, welcome to this very brief plumber parts video today. I've got my friend Morgan from Velo here. Say hello, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. Oh, Morgan's actually German, so just say it in your German native tongue. Yeah, I couldn't Morgan. Oh yeah, I didn't even know you'd say that. Good, good stuff. A couple of days ago, I fielded some questions from you guys on a live video. None of you realised I had two pints of beer gold from Woodford's then. Very nice indeed. And you guys were kind enough to come up with some serious questions and some not so serious questions. I think the equation for that is sort of 30-70. So, I'm going to ask Morgan your questions now and we're going to talk about some of the things that Velo are going to be doing in the future. Before we begin, I'd like to say, if you haven't done already, subscribe. We've got over 300 videos on YouTube about plumbing currently. Also, click that like button. And if you have any further questions or comments for Morgan, Velo, or myself, or even Big G, please put them in the comment section below. So let's get on with the video, guys. And remember, what have we got to do, Morgan? Hang tough. H hold tight. <laughs> Deliver it. Let's go. <laughs> Right then, so number one, I'm doing my level two plumbing at the moment. Any tips? Don't do plumbing. I said stick at it. Have you read this second one? Just ordered an eight port manifold with will instead of grubbed foss. <laughs> Hold tight. It's not even a question. It's Have not it. even spelt right. What do you think he's getting at when he says grubbed foss? I've never even heard of that. What's that? Right, okay, so here we go. We've come up with, this is the first one here from Free World. Free world, where are they? I imagine these pumps here and all the other Velo pumps manufactured. These are the Picos uh, and these are made in France now. One in Albany and one in Laval. Uh, and basically, yeah, we have a big manufacturing site over there. The domestic pumps are now tested and developed on a massive vat of UK heating water. <laughs> oh, we were going to say something. We were going to say something else. Go no, on then. They're, Tested to what specs? They're, they're, they're built, uh, they're, they were developed on a, a big vat of UK heating water because basically, I think back in... <laughs> a UK vat of heating. Did you say UK vat? No, I said vat of UK heating water. I got it right. You heard it wrong. So hold on, what's the difference between UK heating water and German heating water? So UK, he UK heating water, despite certain being far superior to other installers waters. yeah the mineral content basically and the fact that a lot of installers still don't dose the systems mm -hmm. means that UK heat water is still among the worst so what we did was we we had we had a few reliability issues back in the late 80s early 90s yeah um, and so now the products are developed to run on UK heat water okay and what have they done to change that then is it different components in there different materials um, like that? It's the it's the tolerances. So basically, these are these are a glandless circulator. So they're cooled by the system water themselves. It's the amount of particles that are going to be in the system water. Okay. Is the water that you're on about similar to the water I've got in my cup of tea at the moment? Exactly. Yeah, and that's what this has kind of got to deal with. Yeah. And you said there was reliability issues back in the day, just that because of this kind of different kind of mineral content. I mean, I can see it now. I can yeah. imagine if that's swishing through a pump for hours on end. It's never going to be good, is it? Yeah, so basically they, they, over summer, they'd lock up and then when it came to winter and the heating system try and kick in again, they wouldn't be able to turn and then burn themselves out. Is that almost that slow start function? Because that's got that on there, isn't it, that one? Yeah, so now they've got, the first off, they've got a really high starting torque, but also if it can't move, it comes up with an error code and it stops trying to run the motor. Okay, so it won't burn it out. Yeah. Tyler Brown, this is not even a question. <clears throat> in my opinion, Wheelo. Or v is it Velo or Velo? Velo. Velo. Okay. In my opinion, Velo are the best manufacturer for pumps. No, no, so I got that wrong. In my opinion, Velo is the best manufacturer for pumps. I owe Tyler Brown a fiver. Well done. Do you drink with him usually? Do you see oh, him? I will do now. This is from Free World again. God, Free World's got a few questions in. Well, I was going to say, uh, it is a Free World, of course, but getting a bit greedy here. Um, what is the potential lifespan of the pump? I mean, what do you say to this being a man of velo? So we do life cycle costings on some bigger pumps and we always quote about 15 years life cycle on the pump. That's but fair enough. If it's on a well-treated system and it's serviced regularly, um, no reason why it couldn't go for 20 years. So what's the, uh, what, the system service or the, the system pump itself, service? yeah. No, okay. so, Can't so, really do much to them, can you, really? No, so the pump's a maintenance-free pump. So the most you might have to do is if you had a really long summer and the impeller seized on it, you might have to take the head off and just twist it and put it back on again. Okay, yeah, fair enough, cool. Um, Steve Finnis, how do they compare to competitors' pumps? Well, everyone basically, from an energy point of view, is on a pretty level playing field. So we've got ERP regs came in, they're all as efficient as each other, really. A couple of things that we have that other people don't is the aeration function. 
which is very handy. Really useful. Especially when you're filling up. Yeah. So a lot of people used to get the uh, the bleed screw, yeah, and bleed it out like that. Yeah, so um, obviously now we've got a load of electronics there, so you can't really get to the front of the pump. So yeah. we've got um, an air venting mode. And what that does basically is it slows the pump down, gathers all the air in it, and then speeds up as fast as it can, yeah, yeah. and it breaks it all up into smaller particles to go up to the top of the system. That also helps when filling up the system as well, because we used to jockey the pump, so you'd have it in, then you sort of go between speeds or whatever, if you were yeah. using a certain type of pump, right? But now with that, that basically does it for you. So you can leave it up. My, my velo's up in the loft, yeah. next to everything else. I'll like, fill the system up, turn that onto the air thing, and then just leave it. Slow start up as well, I wanna know about that. I mean, these are things that I know about the product because I know about a lot about these pumps. Yeah, so the starting mode on these, they got a really high starting torque. So mm -hmm. basically that's designed so that if you do have a prolonged summer and the pump doesn't come on, if it's heat only, and the pump doesn't come on for a long time, then sometimes you get a bit of mineral build up around it. The starting torque basically cracks that seal. Gets um, rid of it. Yeah, which would have used to have burnt out an old motor, now it, it can get through that but you have got a manual start as well, so manual restart. So what you do is if you press the button twice, um, it will restart the pump and it does a, a, a gradual start. Okay, yeah, so sort of slowly bring it on rather than like whacking it on yeah. and burning it out. This is from Terry Diaz, and uh, I think you've already covered this, mate, because he just says, tell us about the pump. I mean... So yeah, basically the pump has got... Uh, it's green. It's green, it's got three operating modes. Yeah. So you've got uh, a modulating mode for radiators on yeah. one side. You've got a modulating mode for underfloor heating on the other. Mm -hmm. And then what we also put back in was the, the old three speed, fixed speed. Fixed speed, yeah, yeah. So basically if you had a really old dirty system and you got called out on a Saturday night to change the pump over and you put it on modulating mode, it probably wouldn't run because it sees all the dirt gathered in the corners of the system and it thinks it's a TRV, so it just keeps backing off. Yeah, so you could just shove that under. So you could stick it on fixed speed and, yeah. and get away with it. Um, so the underfloor side of things, that's obviously for a system that's got underfloor heating and also radiators as well? Or yeah. is that just for a, a manifold? Either. If, if it's got underfloor heating on it, you want to put it on here. So basically the, the narrow pipe gauge and the long pipe runs mean that you don't want it to be on this fully modulating side because it's just going to keep backing off. It sees the resistance and it will just back off. A bit like your throat almost did just then. Like my throat almost <laughs> did. <laughs> just hit puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you are going to comment on my blue trainers. So. Morgan though, Morgan's donning. They're pretty much the same colour as the pump, Morgan. Bang on brand really, aren't they? Mate, they're well there. What, I tell you what, what does Velo do that everyone always tries to get? In fact, I went to a flying trade show because I'm doing some flying stuff, as some of you may know. Check out my other channel, Times of James. Huh? And this old boy was going around with what on his back? Definitely a Velo rucksack. Exactly. Free World says, yet again, this is his third question, or hers. Um, is the pump serviceable? We've covered that already, but go over again. Yeah, you don't really need to service it. It's maintenance free. Um, the most you'll have to do is take the head off and just twist the impeller just to, just to free it up if it's locked up. Which is probably a proper plumber job, really, isn't it? Because yeah. your homeowner is not going to know how to do that. Right, so Fibre Washer, who's been a long time subscriber of Plumber Parts, been calling me jazz for God knows how long and leering after Emily, who's off camera at the moment, currently being sick. Seriously, Jazz, he says, can you get them to give a quick guide to circulation pump sizing? Morgan, help us out. First step, on the domestic pumps, they only come in three sizes anyway. Right. So um, the naming gives you the size. So this can one you is- decode it for me? Yeah, so this one is a 25 slash one to six dash 130. I always just go on the six. Basically, this will pump from one meter up to six meters and anywhere in between. Yeah, so it's a six meter pump. And then we've got the 25 slash one to five, which is a five meter pump. Yeah. Uh, and a 25 slash one to eight, which is an eight meter pump. So what's the like, rough difference in price? Why would no one, why wouldn't everyone just buy an eight meter and cover their, cover their bases? An eight meter is gonna be about 130 pounds, whereas you'll get a, a six for less than 100, so. Okay, currently that is. Currently. And the, and the 130 is, the size from port to port, so that's 130 mils from port to ah, port. Ah, I didn't know that. Learned something today. So 180 is the when you go into more commercial size pumps, that's a 180 mil port. I'll be honest with you, I'm more of a 130 man. Yeah, I know, I thought you might have been. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Anything else? Um, yeah, when, when it comes to sizing, if you really don't know what pump, if, if you're not doing a replacement, and you don't know that you're replacing a six meter pump that was working quite happily before, yeah. then if you look on our app, we've got a smartphone app called Velo Assistant, 
and you can put things in like the lengths of pipe, you can say how high that you're pumping, you can put in how many rads elbows, rads, valves you've got on there and it will give you a pump recommendation based on it. So it's the pipe work calculator on our smartphone app. Tyler Brown comes back, Mr. Pooh. Does the pump, does the, does the pump have protection features? Well, we talked about it a minute ago, didn't we? Yeah, it's got, um, <laughs> the pump's got a lot of error codes built into it. So what it'll do, it, it'll detect the system. <coughs> we'll start it again. I've, I, I, yeah, go on. It's got error codes. The pump's it? got error codes. Error codes. So if it locks up, whereas an old fixed speed pump <laughs> would just put. <laughs> Error codes. <laughs> it has, all right, look, that's the yes. answer to your question. <coughs> right, so the pump's got... Error codes. Just don't even yeah. say error codes, no. just don't say it. I'll come, I'll walk off. Look at the camera. <laughs> no, because then it's gonna... <laughs> the, camera. the pump can detect a number of different faults. Uh, it's got error codes built into it, and if the pump, for instance, locked out, instead of burning itself out, it will flash up an error code. What you can do is go onto the smartphone app, have a look at the different number and it will give you a brief diagnostic of what's going on with the pump without you having to take it apart. Well, well a glandless pump is a pump that's cooled by the system water itself. A glanded pump doesn't, it's got a fan on top of it yeah. and it's not a wet can rotor motor. The pump's got a quick electrical connector, no tools, so you can take the old pump out, you'll have the bare wire ends and these are pinch clip connections. Yeah, yeah. Um, fits in there and then that clips onto the bottom of the pump. Particularly good, there's a number of sort of building sites and housing developers all say if you need to use a screwdriver to do the electricals then the Sparky's got to do it. If not, pinch clips is fine. We're going to go now. Um, have a great day. If you've got any more questions, like I said, please comment below. Please like this video. Please hit that subscribe button and please go and follow Velo over on their social media accounts at Velo UK. And also, irritatingly enough, on Instagram, Velo UK Limited. Yeah. <laughs> Great work. Right, see you in the next video, guys. And that's been a bit of a random one this week. We did a lovely video as well, Fitness Infi Shower Tray. Done some great work there. More videos coming up, and there's loads for you to get in the back catalogue as well. If you want to see more of my lovely face, follow us over on at Times with James, and follow us over on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and all the others. Anyway, <laughs> see you in the next video, guys. And remember, one thing you got to do, that's hold tight. See you soon. Pa, 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 pa.